Welcome to September's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is subarray product less than K. You are given an array of positive integers, nums. Count and print the number of contiguous subarrays where the product of all elements in the subarray is less than K. I don't think we actually need to print the subarrays, uh, but we need to count them and return the number. If we have a input of 10, 5, 2, 6 and K of 100, we will return 8 because there's going to be 8 subarrays, 10, 5, 2, 6, 10, 5, 5, 2, um, 2, 6, 5, 2, 6. And that's going to mean a total of 8. You can see 10, 5, 2 doesn't count because it equals 100, which is not less than K. Now a note here is that the numbers are going to be between 0 and 1,000. So we don't need to worry about negatives or even zeros. No division by 0, no negatives. So that's going to be a big advantage. Now, they give you a hint. Uh, it's a little bit confusing what they mean here, but they basically say to keep track of the smallest i uh, as we go through. So immediately when I see this question, the very first thought I have is Kadan's algorithm. Could we use some sort of greedy method? But that's going to be a little bit hard to do. Um, so let's forget about Kadan's algorithm. Instead, start from the very beginning. If we were to do this brute force, how would we solve it? Well, basically, we would just figure out every single possible contiguous subarray and measure if it is less than 100. So we could start with 10 and then say 10, 5, 10, 5, 2, 10, 5, 2, 6. All right, now move to 5. Now 5, 5, 2, 5, 2, 6. And just count up all the possible subarrays that are contiguous and measure the ones that are less than 100. That would work, but that's going to be, you know, n squared. So that's not going to pass. So how could we do this in one pass? Well, let's go to the, uh, my notepad and try to figure out our intuition here. So our example was 10, 5, 2, 6. And we have a total of 100 that we want to be less than. Now let's think about how many subarrays are there at each number. One of the things you might realize is at point zero, there's going to be one subarray. Here, there'll be two subarrays. There'll be five and 10, five, right? Here, there'll be three. There'll be 10, five, two, five, two, two. Here, there'll be four, 10, five, two, six, five, two, six, two, six, and so on and so forth. And that actually is every single possible contiguous subarray. So there's a total of nine, seven, nine, 10, actually 10. There'll be a total of 10. Our mission now is to figure out how can we go through this subarray and count up the number of contiguous subarrays that there are that are less than 100. So remember that all these numbers are going to be greater than zero, right? So if that's the case, that gives us some uh, easy methods of being able to do this. So let's say here we start out by counting up the total product so far. Total product so far is 10, right? Yeah. And product so far. 10. So we can say immediately, all right, add one to our total. So our total is going to be like one. Then we move on here and we say, all right, what's the product so far? It's 50. And that means we could add 10, 5 and 5 into our total. So that's going to be plus two. That's three. What about here? Uh, well, product so far is 100, right? So that means that we can't add this 10, 10, 5, 2. But we should be able to figure out, can we add anything that comes before that? So what we need to do is have some sort of pointer that points at the very beginning to say, all right, this doesn't work, but can you move up this pointer, divide up our 100 by subtracting or dividing the 10 that here. So that was divided by 10. Now we have 10 left. And at this point, yes, we are less than 100. So that means we could add the total subarrays here of of two, right, five, two, and two. So this number here needs to get decreased by however many times we need to increase our pointer. So there's gonna be a pointer here, we uh, say call that like an I, and we should just keep track of this pointer. And what's great here is that when we move to six, now we can do 60, but say that this was like 660 or something, uh, and this was 600. Now we don't need to worry about everything that came before here, because if we need to recount, everything here would make it greater, right? Because it's all positive. We already know what the minimum number is. So now we can just start at this point and continue on to see where this number can get below 100. 
so basically we need to keep track of uh, total subarrays at each number, I guess. The products so far are pointer for the minimum i and just move through our entire array to figure out our total. So hopefully that gave you a decent intuition of how we might go about doing this. Uh, let's start coding it out. Okay, so let's start by initializing our n. That's going to be the length of nums. And we will have our product so far. And this will start with 1. Since we can't start with 0, because if we multiply anything with 0, it's going to be 0. So we'll start with 1. Luckily, everything's positive, so we don't need to worry about any weird things going on. Our minimum i, I'll call that mini, will be starting at 0. And our total subarrays at each number, I guess, start with also 0, right? And we also need our total number. That's going to be what we return. So for i in range of n, let's move through and figure out what we need to do. Uh, the first thing I suppose we'll need to do is uh, we'll have to add to our subarrays. Add to subarrays. Then we are going to move our mini pointer our index to check to see if uh, we need to move this pointer up. Because if that's the case, then we need to decrease our subarray and increase our index number. So while loop to increase mini and decrease subarrays. Finally, if we find that this product so far is less than k, then we could add whatever total subarrays to our total, right? So add subarrays to total. And it might not be, it might be like the number might be 200 or something here. And if that's the case, we can't add to the total. Like the subarray will still be one, but we shouldn't add. So make sure to have this if statement here. All right, so we'll add to our subarray. Uh, we'll also uh, calculate our products so far. All right, so let's see. Um, first, we want to calculate our product so far. We'll do a multiply by the nums i. Now I'm trying to figure out, do we increase our subarrays? I think we do. So let's start with that. Now, what do we want to do? We want to see if our product so far is um, if we need to increase our index pointer for the minimum i because our product so far is greater than k. So we'll say while product so far is greater or equal to k, because if it's equal to, that doesn't count either, and our mini i is less than, less than equal to i. Let me think less or equal to i, because that's going to be the index point. And if that's the case, we will have to decrease our product so far, divide it by the nums, whatever our mini is at this point. Now we increase our mini, we decrease the number of subarrays, and we continue our loop. Now once this part is reached, either our product so far is now less than k, or our mini is um, pointing to the index that we are, we are at, we'll check if product so far is less than k, then we're going to add to our total, the total number of subarrays. Now, after that, we just return our total. So let me get rid of my comments so I don't confuse myself. And let's see if I did this right. Okay, so far it looks good. Let's try to test out like if we added something like 600, 3 to 1. Just see if that made sense. Okay, looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and submit that. And accepted always nice to get it on the first try. All right, so 
hopefully that explained to you. This is like an O of N solution. It's kind of like a sliding window, sort of, uh, but basically you'll be able to do this one pass with essentially two pointers. So thanks for watching my channel and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.